And we welcome in uh, Tony La Russa, who is the author of One Last Strike, 50 years in baseball, 10 and a half games back in one final championship season. Tony, thank you for joining us, sir. Yeah, good, Steve. Looking forward to it. Well, I appreciate it. Um, I, I, I played that uh, because uh, that just struck me. I think it cuts to the core uh, and the chase of, of, of who you are and, and the sacrifices that uh, so many athletes make but that you made for, for so many years in the game. And, um, you know, you and your wife, Elaine, you've now started up a, a foundation um, uh, for animal rescue. Uh, we'll talk about that in a second. But um, it, was, that, was that why you finally – uh, step down, uh, leaving on top the way you did? I mean, was it looking at your wife and your kids and saying, I don't want to miss any more? Well, uh, it would have been true, you know, years before because the kids would have been smaller. You know, but now they're adults and they have their lives. And <clears throat> in fact, uh, they were, all three were very disappointed that uh, it ended when it did. Uh, I think they were, you know, they had gotten used to the the routine once the season starts for six months, you know, they could turn on and follow the team. They were interested. I also think that there was a lot to do with uh, um, just not wanting me around too much. So the, uh, <laughs> it, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't received well. They, uh, they made a point. You know, I think they, they, they made the sacrifice. So this is a good way to start it. See, because for years had uh, my wife not been the, uh, the father and mother of those children, I would have not been able to devote as much time as I did. So, uh, but they they had fixated on uh, passing McGraw, and they wanted me to come back and pick up those extra thirty wins. And right. They were not happy when uh, when I said, "Look, you know, you, you, when it's time to go, it's time to go, and you don't chase those numbers." So why did you go? Uh, talk a little bit about the book. Uh, a lot about it. There's like a chapter. Uh, I think it's a combination uh, of of factors, you know, you do it for 33 years. There's a, a level 10 as far as, you know, your top that you get to emotionally and effort wise and physically and what you preach to the players. And I had found it, I could get there, but it was getting harder and harder. Uh, there was the single toughest uh, responsibility that you have as a manager depends on what you were taught. Not the way I was taught is to protect your players as a family. And that's a, that's a real grind, and that guy, that was harder to take and handle than it was getting beat, which I think surprised me when I realized that and, and other people. It's, you know, if you all enjoy losing, but having to be the guy that uh, watches over the intimidation and that they try to pull in your glove and then you have to respond, that was the toughest. And, and, and Tony, we're talking to Tony La Russa. Uh, the uh, book is One Last Strike. And, um, th- Tony, uh, going out, though, on top is something that, you know, many athletes uh, dream of. Uh, and and you, you did it. So you've been removed now for a year, um, going into year number two. Any pangs, any regrets, any plans to maybe somehow come back and get those wins and, and move up the chart to the, uh, to the, the, the win list on managers? You know, I couldn't have uh, answered that last year because I hadn't gone through it. But after going through a year, uh, I did not miss the dugout. Do not miss the dugout. I mean, like I said, I think it was time to pass the torch. Uh, but it, I would be dishonest if I didn't say that the winning and losing. You know, I started, I started playing when I was 17 years old in '62. So for 50 years, part of my life has always been a score that night and happy if you win and upset if you lose. So I missed the winning and losing. Uh, but I did not miss managing. So, you know, at some point I might uh, get back with a team in the office, you know, where you're, you've got some investment in how the team does. But not on, not in the, not in the dugout. No, I've had my time. No, I, my, my, I don't see that. It won't, that won't happen. All right, Tony, you know, so much uh, people, when they talk about Tony La Russa and, and they talk about your management style, um, they, they attribute that to so much to, to your, your success, your great success. And I want to ask you about something that's in the news today, which was kind of shocking, although I don't know how, I, I don't know how widespread you believe this is. The, uh, the coach of uh, Rutgers basketball, Tom Rice, um, was, um, Mike Rice, was fired today because a video surfaced where in practice he was uh, pushing players players with two hands, grabbing them, cursing at them, calling them uh, names, throwing basketballs at their head. Uh, and he's, you know, he's put on antics at games as well. But when this tape came to light, uh, something that the athletic director knew about back in December, and they suspended him for three games but didn't tell us why, they immediately fired him. 
is that is that kind of something that's old style? I know not in baseball, but is that old style coaching that no one could permit these days? Does it go on more than I I know of? And should it be result in someone getting fired? Uh, I absolutely do not think it should be condoned. It's not it's, it's not a part of any coach that I know that's that's uh, trying to establish respect and trust between himself, his coaches, and the players. And even, you know, I mean, at times, to make a point, you know, uh, you know, guys will get a little emotional. I know I'm a friend with Coach Bob Knight, and, you know. and That's what I was going to ask you about, yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, but uh, there, there are a lot of coaches that at one point will put their hands on a player, you know, to, to, to get their attention. But what, uh, what was shown in that video was, you know, that was uh, – that was to the nth degree, and uh, I think in the long run, uh, you don't have to be physical to uh, impose your will. You know, you, you can be verbal, you can be emotional, uh, but I do think that, uh, you know, I've seen examples in football and basketball, more, much more than in baseball, where a coach that I really respect, uh, you know, in, in the heat of the moment will – put his hands on a player. I mean, I, you know, coach, coach K, I know that I understand that it doesn't, he's, you know, he's got, you know, all kind of respect and, you know, some football coaches have done it. So right. I think that very, very occasionally, if you, if you, in the heat of the moment, it, I'm not sure it's ever really something that you feel good about afterwards, but as you know, when it becomes anything beyond just a, a momentary outburst, it's definitely not acceptable. All right, listen, Tony, uh, just give me, is there a website for your Animal Rescue Foundation? No, I appreciate that. It's called uh, ARF, like Animal Rescue Foundation, ARF.net. Okay. Folks can look at it. We've got 22 years of history there. So. Okay, we will, we will post that, and we will make sure that that gets out on the website. And, uh, Tony, great talking to you. Thank you. Again, the book is One Last Strike, the great Tony LaRussa. Thank you so much for your time, sir. All right, sir. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right, folks, we're coming back. 